The idea of racism only becomes an issue when you create a country that is defined by something new. It's not defined by territory. It's not defined by the area that you can communicate with. It is defined by an idea. And yes, it is, it is held upon a certain piece of land, and that land is ultimately defined uh, by how much of it is, is under our control and by natural borders and natural uh, you know, uh, coastlines and all that stuff. But, but who becomes part of that country is who ascribes to the ideas under which the country is founded. And that's when racism becomes an issue because suddenly you and the Irish guy next to you or the Italian guy next to you or the black guy next to you, suddenly you are countrymen. You are not just, you know, uh, uh, people of, of basically the same race, basically the same kind, living on an island or living in a nation based on uh, on the the uh, people who conquered that place. You are there ascribing to an idea together, and that's when racism becomes a problem. It is essentially, essentially an uptown problem like everything else. And that's why, this is why I think conservatism is progressive, whereas progressivism is regressive. Conservatism is basically saying these values, these values that shaped our country, that shaped our world, should be kept in place because they're the values that created the idea of racism. Racism was not a problem anywhere else. Nobody ever sat around. I mean, in Rome, they had a little bit of this because Rome was a multi-ethnic empire, but it was a multi-ethnic empire. Nobody de uh, denied that it was run by the Romans in Rome. And as the people surrounding Rome wanted more and more rights, they had all kinds of tremendous fights about that. But still, Rome was a multi-ethnic empire. We are a multi-ethnic nation. That is an entirely new idea. And that's when racism becomes a problem, when you got to say, oh, this guy next to me is my countryman. When we go to war, he and I are going to be in a foxhole together. So therefore, we are brothers in arms and brothers in, in a nation. And that makes racism a problem, because if you don't like the guy because he's Italian or Irish or Jewish or black, then it's a problem. And that's why conservatism, we are trying to conserve ideas that create this idea that that makes racism a problem where the left is going to progress right back to the past. They want to progress right back to the past. And that's why you see what's happening now is this upsurge, this upsurge of racism uh, on the left. We talked yesterday about Heather McDonald's great piece in the Wall Street Journal. It's still available. It, uh, Wall Street Journal is behind a paywall because they want to get paid for their work, <laughs> which I, I know what a concept. But, but Heather McDonald wrote a great piece saying it's not Donald Trump who brings up race all the time. It's the left interpreting what he says as racist, but the left is constantly talking about whiteness and blackness and identity and all these different things that are a problem. And now it's all coming home to roost. It's all becoming visible in their anti-Semitism problem. You know, it's really interesting. They had this thing in in Portland over the weekend where Antifa and the, the, the fascists who call themselves anti-fascists and the Proud Boys who seem to have a, a little bit of a, a democracy problem themselves were, were fighting each other, right? They're out there. They were going to have uh, demonstrations and counter demonstrations. And Antifa, Antifa is just an absolutely miserable, violent leftist organization. And Proud Boys seem to be uh, instigating violence too in the name of white supremacy. So Sean Hannity goes on TV, right? And Sean Hannity says, a, a pox on both your houses, a plague on both your houses. This is not the way this goes. We're one country, even though Sean is a deep, deep partisan, pro-Trump partisan, he is saying the people I argue with, I'm arguing with, right? We're not, we're not enemies. We're opponents in this fight. We're not hitting each other over the head with clubs. Now, remember, this is evil Sean Hannity on the evil right, right? The white supremacist. He's coming out and saying, no, no, that's not what this is about. It's about the ideas that bind us all together. And by the way, while the New York Times is going El Paso, El Paso, El Paso, El Paso, because that's where uh, a, a white supremacist shot people, only Hannity has been covering Chicago, where the uh, left's policies have created uh, a, an inner city that is as violent as any place in America. Sean is covering that. He's got people going out there.